all of us get to live the Lux life. <laughs> says who. But luckily, our travel correspondent, Laura Dunn, is back to show us the lavish accommodations hiding in Dallas, Texas. Hi, everyone. I'm Laura Dunn, and I'd like to welcome you to the luxury edition of The Jet Set. The Ritz-Carlton Dallas, Texas was absolutely one of the biggest surprises I've had in a very long time. In the heart of downtown Dallas, I of course was expecting luxury. It's a Ritz-Carlton. But what I was not expecting was the resort type atmosphere that hit me upon arrival. I'm so excited to take you on this adventure and welcome you to one of the most vibrant cities in the United States, Dallas, Texas. After our flawless check-in, we were greeted with an amazing Fairings Margarita at the Welcome Margarita Bar. It's touches like this that allow the Ritz-Carlton Dallas their five-star rating. After my welcome beverage, I was ushered to my beautiful one-bedroom suite with a living room, dining room, kitchen, and powder room. Our first stop was the Wellness Center and Spa. The Lone Star State has a reputation for doing things on a grand scale, and the experience at this Dallas spa is no exception. After my incredible massage and some seriously great shopping in the spa, we were off to the concierge lounge where they serve a full breakfast, lunch, and dinner with daily snacks and a late night dessert buffet. The lunch buffet was so over the top fabulous and it was then and there that I realized that Dallas is a serious foodie haven. The pool, located on an upper floor, allowed us a view of the Dallas skyline, beautiful and relaxing. The pool area was filled with guests enjoying the Texas sun, beverages, and more culinary delights. While relaxing, I was able to enjoy their famous bento box filled with a crispy cob salad. The Ritz-Carlton Dallas truly has it all. Sitting at high tea with world-renowned pastry chef Corey Thompson was such an enlightening, delicious, and glorious way to spend the afternoon. We are in Dallas, right? We are, yes, we are. I wanted to do something um, that kind of showcased Southern hospitality. After ordering our teas, Corey was able to go through and explain each of the high tea food selections. Unusual and so enjoyable. High tea in the lobby is a not to be missed experience. My visit to the Ritz Carlton was centered around meeting and speaking with celebrity chef Dean Faring. We met at his rattlesnake bar to chat before our tasting menu dinner at Faring's restaurant. Dean, I am so happy to be here in Dallas, Texas. Great to have you here. I wanted to keep what I was doing from the early 80s, which was Southwest cuisine, but take it to modern Texas cuisine, okay. which is using products indigenous to Texas. While I adored sitting down and chatting with Dean, to be perfectly honest, what I was most excited about was sharing the Fearings tasting menu with some of my best Dallas girlfriends. When the smoked butter and cornbread arrived at the table, I knew I was in for an incredible meal. When Chef Dean actually served us himself, described each dish and how it was prepared, I knew this was a meal that I would soon not forget. Our sommelier paired each dish with some of the finest and rarest wines on the planet. And by the end of the evening, I knew for certain why Chef Dean was crowned the Prince of Southern Cuisine. Just a 10 minute walk is some of the best shopping in Dallas. The Crescent was our first stop on our walkabout, housing some of the most upscale retail space in all of Dallas. Walking distance from the Ritz-Carlton Dallas is the Nasher Sculpture Garden, home to one of the finest collections of modern and contemporary sculptures in the world. The Raymond and Patsy Nasher Collection, featuring more than 300 masterpieces by Calder, de Kooning, Matisse, Picasso, and more. Walking through the garden was such a lovely way to spend the afternoon. This is Laura Dunn signing off from the Ritz-Carlton in Dallas, Texas. Back to you in the studio.